What's up, Cal Gang? Uh, welcome back to this dynamics problem. So our goal is to find the initial velocity and theta that this ball is thrown. And what we're doing basically is we're throwing a ball, and we know it takes 2.5 seconds for it to hit the ground at B. We know the distance it travels, and we know the height that we throw it at. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. So when you have this two-dimensional kinematics problem, it's good to break it up into horizontal and vertical. So let's start with horizontal. Right, so what's our goal here, basically? Well, we know time, we know distance, so we know height. Our goal is to find velocity initial and theta. So we know we're going to have two unknowns, and we can write two equations to find those. So let's go ahead and write the two equations we know, horizontal and vertical. So horizontal, we're going to use that long kinematics equation. Let's write it out. So x final, right, x final is equal to 0, is equal to x initial. Uh, so x initial is 0. Actually, no, x final is not that. X final is 50, right? We travel 50 meters, so x final is 50, plus uh, velocity in the x direction. So if we want to find velocity in the x direction, we take our velocity, and then we multiply it by cosine of theta. So these are our two unknowns, right? A and cosine of theta. And then we have to multiply that by time. So we have time is 2.5 seconds. So then we're going to multiply it by 1 half acceleration times squared. But because we're in the x direction, there's no acceleration, right? The ball is traveling at the consistent velocity in the x direction. So this is the equation we have. So let's go ahead and divide by 2.5. Um, right, so we're going to get that uh, to be 20 on this side, right? So 20 is equal to v a cosine of theta. And how about we start by solving for uh, cosine of theta? Uh, so let's find, let's start by solving for theta. So let's go ahead and move the VA to the other side. So you get 20 over, or I mean 20 over cosine of theta is equal to VA. So this is our first equation. Now let's go to the vertical side. So vertical, we're going to do X final, I mean Y final this time. So Y final is zero, right? We land at zero meters. So that's going to be equal to Y initial, 1.2, plus velocity time, so we start with velocity to normal, but then we have to find just the y direction. So if we want to find just the y direction, we're going to take sine of theta. And then multiply that by time for the equation. So this is going to be another 2.5. And then this time we're going to again add, but this time uh, gravity is going to pull down, so we're going to subtract it. So it's going to be negative 9.81 over 2, right? Because it's 1 half acceleration times squared. So acceleration is gravity, 9.81, but 1 half is this 2. And then times squared is going to be 2.5 squared. So then again, we're left with this equation of two unknowns. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simplify it. Uh, I trust you guys know how to do this kind of math on your own. But we're going to basically add these together, move them to the other side. You're going to get 11.7825 is equal to VA sine theta. And then, of course, we're going to want to move that sine theta over. So 11.7825 over sine of theta is equal to VA. So now we have two equations in terms of TA, and what we're going to do is set them equal to each other, and that's going to get rid of one of the unknowns, so we can just solve for theta. So set these two equal to each other, let's put this one there, 20 over cosine of theta is equal to 11.7825 over sine of theta. So then now we can combine the sine and cosine of theta by making a tangent, so let's multiply by sine and then we're going to be left with tangent of theta. So it'll be 20 tangent of theta is equal to 11.7825. So then again, we're going to divide by 20, and then let's take the inverse tangent right here in one move. So it'll be inverse tangent of 11.7825 over 20. Plug this into your calculator. You're going to get a theta value of 30.5 degrees. All right, so we found one of our things. Now we just need to find velocity. So we can do it either way. We can plug it into this equation or this equation. How about we plug it into the top equation? So if we want to find velocity A, it's going to be equal to 20 over cosine. And now that we have theta, we can just plug it in. 30.5. That's going to give you VA is equal to um, 23.2 meters a second. And that's your final answer. Two answers right there. So yeah, pretty simple kinematics problem, but basically with every kinematics problem, it's just about breaking it into x and y. There's always two unknowns, you know, sometimes just three if you're going to a really hard problem. Uh, but yeah, if you have trouble with these kind of kinematics problems, uh, feel free to check out my channel. I've got a whole lot going on. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.